Mimi bado siamini na sijui kwa nini ina uzuni moyo juu yako Hadi yetu suli kwa special siamini utoyone kesho yani bacho umefumba fumba Na wengi wengi ukasaidia wengi wengi yatima na wase wajane wanakukumbuka uende salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu uende salama na Mungu atakupokea uende salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu uende salama na Mungu atakupokea Najua ya mambo haya na ujanja Tangulia nasi tunajipanga Tunajua ya mambo haya na ujanja Tangulia nasi tunajipanga Amba samura koma maeva Siamini tumelipoteza Usara zako Ni kweli tunazikunguka we mawako Kuna usoni nyumbani Kuna majirani Marafiki zako tunalia Oh Mediatrix Mungu wa kusaidia Uwene salama Sisi tunakuombea Kwa mungu Uwene salama Na mungu watakupokea Uwene salama Sisi tunakuombea Kwa mungu Salama, na mungu wata kukokea Wene salama, sisi tunakuombea Kwa mungu, wene salama, na mungu wata kukokea Wene salama, sisi tunakuombea
salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu ni salama na Mungu atakupokea ni salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu ni salama na Mungu atakupokea ni salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu ni salama na Mungu atakupokea She has left another one is also making Everything here under the sun has got its own time. Mungu amemuumba mwanadamu. God created a person like you. Kamweka hapa kwa ulimwengu. And then placed him here in the world. Katua ya kwamba ataishi siku ndogo. He knew that he is not going to last. Lakini atatoka kwa ulimwengu huu. He is going to leave the world. Na atakwenda kukaa pamoja na Bwana siku zote za maisha yake. And he will go and stay with God forever. Kwa hiyo Mungu aliumba mwanadamu si sababu akufe. God did create a person not purposely for him to die. Lakini aliumba mtu ili akae 
pamoja na Mungu wake daima. But he created a person in order to stay with him forever. Atakaye kufa ni yule mfanya dhambi. Whoever is going to die is that a sinner. Sababu kule kwa Mungu hakuna mwenye anatenda dhambi. Because in heaven nobody sees. Lakini tunajua hakika ya kwamba Mungu ameumba mtu. But we know that God created a person. Ili kwamba mtu huo aishi na Mungu wake daima. In order that person to live with God forever. Akatuweka kwa ulimwengu tupitie ulimwengu huu. He placed for us in the world. Na siku moja twende tukae pamoja na. In order for us at one time to go and meet him and then stay with him forever. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Ndio maana ukisoma wa Korinto wa kwanza. That's why if you read in the first Corinthians. Acha tu usome pale tuangalie. Korinto wa kwanza. First Corinthians sura 15 chapter 15 na verse yake tuanze pale kwa 42 verse 42 tunaanza kusoma let's pray kadhalika na kiema ya wafu upandwa katika uharibifu ufufuliwa katika kutokuharibika upandwa katika aibu ufufuliwa katika uh, fahari upandwa katika udhaifu ufufuliwa katika nguvu upandwa katika mwili wa asili ufufuliwa kwa mwili wa roho ikiwa uko mwili wa asili na wa roho pia uko Bwana Yesu atusaidie sana. Amen. Ah, tulikuwa tunazungumzia ya kwamba mhubiri we are talking about the ecclesia. Alisema hivi, he did say, kila kitu kinakuwa na majira yake. Everything has got its own season or time. Kuna wakati wa kuzaliwa, kuna wakati wa kufa. There is time to be born, there is time to die. Kuna wakati mvua inanyesha, kuna wakati mvua haiyeshi. There is time when there is rain, there is time when there is no rain. Kuna wakati mtu anatumia chakula, kuna wakati asimamisha kutumia chakula. There is time when someone will be eating, there is some time when you not be eating. Na ndivyo ilivyo kwa mwanadamu. That's how it is supposed to be. To kuna pass. wakati wa kuzaliwa na kuna wakati wa kufa. There is a time to be born, there is a time to die. Kwa hiyo tujue hakika ya kwamba Let's know that mwanadamu hakuumbwa ili akufe. A human being was was not born to die. Yeye hapa tunamuona anasinzia. We just see her here but she's just sleeping. Kufuatana na matendo yake aliyofanya mbele ya Mungu na mbele ya wanadamu anasinzia. Depending on what he has done in the front of you guys and God she's just sleeping. Na ndio maana tumesoma kwa Korinto wa kwanza ile 15. That's why we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 42. Anasema ufufuo wa watu upo. He says resurrection is real. Kuna watu wanasema kwamba hakuna ufufuo. Other people, the atheists say there is no resurrection. But there is resurrection for sure. Who will accept to born a kid and then you say he's going to, to live and never come back? We are so sad because he just left us. But if I had that power, I would just say, please raise up. Stand. But the one who created him, the one who created him, It's time when Do not think that when a Christian lives or dies, he's dying forever. Just resting for this uh, the hard life of the world. Anasema kuna wakati wa kupanda na wakati wa kuvuna. There is time to sow, there is time to harvest. Na kuna wakati wa uharibifu, kuna wakati ambao usio wa uharibifu. There is time of corruption, there is time of incorruption. Na anasema kuna mwili wa asili huu. There is this this body utakufa is going to die lakini mwili wa roho itoa kwa Mungu utafufuliwa flesh which comes from the whole spirit from God is going to resurrect bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord bwana sisi hapa 
are here weeping and so sad. But in heaven they are saying, we got our sister. I've met her for the past three weeks together in different congregations. I come from Alabama. When she came with uh, the pastor, she did bring me a big Bible. I even loved the Bible, that Bible that she brought. Even if I have a Bible, but I do move with the Bible she brought to me. She brought me a Bible in front of the church. Listen to good one. What do you think? What would you give the equivalence of that which is there? It's natural for us to be sad, but God knows what He has done. I also went to Jackson, Florida. I also met her when she was with other choir members. And then we, I spoke with her and then we shared the whole communion together. And then after a few days, and then I heard that she got a lot of do you think that this person belongs to the world? Being sad is to us, but we know that she's already with God. Praise the Lord. My dear Christians, you are a person who is created in a unique way to be separate from the world. You are a person who will live in a good environment with God. When your time comes to leave the world, you are going to dwell with your God with the whole of your life. Praise the Lord. That's what God wants. We have that hope. There is resurrection. When you read in the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25 26, Jesus Christ does say, I'm the resurrection and the life. Even if somebody will die, he's not, he's not, she's not dead, but she just sleeping. Please believe. Even if she's dead, she's alive. Praise the Lord. The word of God is here to comfort us. Let's know that whoever believes in the God as his savior. And now Uzima wa Milele. He got that um, eternal life. Because we are just here as visitors in this world. Whether you have things which can fly. Whether you have a lot of stuff. But please know that this one is not our permanent place to live. We know where we are heading to. Praise the Lord. Let Jesus Christ help us. Let's live in that life. Hoping that Jesus Christ is the Savior for our life. The flesh is just a flesh. And the spirit is the spirit. Let's distinguish that. Praise the Lord. Let God also keep comforting us in that situation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God for His word. 
na neno la Mungu ndio uzima the word of god is life kwa wakati huu tunaposikia neno la Mungu when we hear the word of god ni kwamba tuna meza uzima it's because we have swallowed life na tunashukuru baba yetu mchungaji we thank our bishop kwa kuweza kutupa neno hili to give us this comforting word in this morning kwa wakati huu sasa at this time nataka kusikia nyimbo ya za wanakwaya we are going to listen songs from the choir ambao walikuwa wakimba pamoja na those who have been singing with the light media trace internal life internal life choir karibu mtiki mungu welcome Come on, come on, come on. 
With hope which we are given from the world, it's not the last of her life. For us who are going to heaven, we shall sing with her in heaven. Hallelujah. Uh, the other fellow or ladies who have been singing with her, they also need to sing for her as they are giving a farewell to her. If you're ready, please step forward.
kabisa lakini umejikaza japokuwa huzuni kwa muda huu sasa at this time tunakwenda kusikia ushuhuda wa kanisa we are going to listen the testimony from the kanisa la mahali ambapo dada yetu alikuwa akiombea from where the late mediatrice was praying from ana ushuhuda mrefu sana she got a lot of testimonies lakini hatuwezi tukasema wote and we cannot mention it all sababu ya muda with interest of time yale machache ambayo yataweza kusemwa for the few which we shall give a testimony machache tu it's just few lakini mjue kwamba alikuwa na ushuhuda mrefu sana but know that she has a lot of testimonies kwa acha tumsikie ndugu yetu mchungaji Kaliste uh, let's call upon pastor Kaliste aweze kutupa ushuhuda wa ndugu dada to give the testimony about the late media trees karibu well bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord Yes as if you will. I pray the Lord. Hatuwezi kosa kumunu shukuru na kumsifu. We cannot fail to praise him kwa sababu tuko hapa kwa kusindikiza huyu mwenye anatangulia jinsi mmesikia because we are here to come to, to accompany uh, the light media prince as you have heard before. Uh, na tunasema sifa na kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu tunajua kwenye anaenda and we are also thankful to God because we know where she's going na simama hapa kwa ku toa ushuhuda wa mediatrice i'm here to give a testimony about the late mediatrice sawa mchungaji mwenye muongoza as uh, his pastor eh kumpokea kanisani eh mwaka wa 2016 uh, we welcome the high the church in 2016 tunamaliza nayo miaka 4 we have been with her for four years eh akina alikuwa mkristo mwaminifu she is a faithful christian kusema kama hii kanisa na kosa kiungo cha kanisa kikubwa sana we know that we have lost a great member of the church eh mchungaji kiongozi alisema kama tulifika kule kwa mpatia biblia our bishop said that she gave him the bible ni kitu tulitembea safari ya kufika labama hakunielezea kama atanunulia mchungaji biblia uh, we went together to alabama but she did tell me that she was going to buy bible to the bishop ni shtua maona anasema mimi biblia ya ya mia moja na inunua mchungaji barishi surprised me when she said she's buying a, a bible costing 100 dollars huyu mtu alifika wakati wakaanza kusema kama yeye ni mjinga and then uh, there's a time when they said maybe she's mad kwa sababu ya kazi alikuwa anafanya because of what she has been doing alifanya makazi kubwa sana she has done great things ni mkristo mwaminifu kabisa kwa kanisa hii she is a faithful christian alikuwa mwimbaji wa kwaya ya wamama she is a, a fellow uh, singer to the ladies to kwa mwimbaji wa kwaya ya she was singing in Eternal Life alikuwa mwandishi secretary wa 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 wa, 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 wa kina mama she was a secretary to the group of women alikuwa mwimbaji she was also a prayer warrior tangu mwa miaka ini ilifika anamaliza kwa kanisa hii for the four, for the past four years she has spent with us watu walitoka kule kwenye aliishi those who came from where she has been living back in africa walikuwa nasikia kwenye huko wana wanakuja kwetu kanisani whenever they had where she was praying from and then everybody would come following her kuna mfano mmoja wa mwalimu bahati we have an example of uh, evangelist bahati alikaa kwa hii kanisa kwa sababu ya ya mediatrice yeah, he accepted to stay in our church because of mediatrice kwa sababu aliishi pamoja na dua ushuhuda wake tangu kule kwenye walitoka because he stayed with her and then he has got her testimony eh uh, tulihuzunika kweli kwa sababu tuko 
Ungali hapa duniani we were felt with so much sorrow because we are here in the world. tunaamini kama yeye alienda mbinguni. But as Christian we have that hope and we believe that he shall come. Alifanya kazi nzuri za kumtayarishia. She has done a lot of work to prepare her journey. Kristo mwenye alikuwa anajua kutengeneza. She is a Christian who knew how to repent. Kama katu kana mfiki alikuwa anapiga simu anasema nataka nitengeneze. If she has uh, if she maybe she feel like she was not in the right way she should call the pastor to fast repent. Anatengeneza she would repent. Kama kana fika aiko ndani ya ya, ya mkutano if it happens when she's in a congregation she would just rush and then say I want to repent that's the testimony we, we saw from her she helped a lot of people uh, in different ways she did help the elders. She helped the widows. She helped even children in different ways. Personally, on the side of the work of God, you can never, she does not have any debt. She knows how to give the tenth offering. You can, she does not have any debt about any contribution. She left us with no debt in the church. On my side, whenever I had a journey to go somewhere, Baba yangu nataka unibariki. And then she would say I need you to bless me first. Angata mkati wewe utakulia njiani. She would give me something, maybe dollars to buy a bread around the way. Ni ni kwa kusikia ni ni ushuda mrefu sana. It's a long testimony which we cannot accomplish at this time. Yeye aliwaambia watu she prayed for people. Alikuwa muumbaji kabisa ndani ya kikundi cha waumbaji tuko nao kanisani. She was a prayer warrior among other group we have in the church. Lakini na alikuwa anapendwa na watu wengi. She is she was loved by very many people. Lakini na Mungu alikuwa anampenda. But also God loved her. Kwa kumpenda kwa kumpenda kwa Mungu because of the love God has for her. Ndio maana sasa yeye naye anamchukua. That's why God has to take her. Eh na that's the testimony we have. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we are saying, we got a lot of testimonies about her. We cannot accomplish all the testimonies or all what she has done. Lakini nadhani watu ambao tunaishi pamoja hapa but the people whom we live together in Atlanta mimi nitamkumbukia kwa mambo mawili I will only she will remind me of two things kwanza the first one alikuwa mtu wa kupenda kucheka she, she, she would smile to everyone alikuwa mtu ambaye Mungu it's a person whom God alimupa alimupa hiyo furaha ya kucheka God has given him that Kata, joy ndani ya kanisa akipenda church akisimama kushukuru if she stood like to thank God mpaka mtacheka kupenda na kutokupenda who would laugh whether you like it or not pale anashukuru Mungu she would stand and thank God hata jali masaa kwamba saa zinapenda she will not mind of the time atasema tu akiwa anapiga cheko she will talk when she smiles nani ambao mnakaa mpaka mtacheka tu even you guys when you are you will also start laughing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nina kumbuka sana. I remember Lord. Akisimama atasema banduku, if I stand I will say my brother. Huyu Mungu wetu banduku, huyu Mungu wetu. Our God. Na akisema hivyo anacheka sana. If she says that and then she will burst into laughter. Alikuwa na furaha. She had a lot of joy. Amen. Amen. Kitu kingine. Another thing. Alikuwa akipenda kushukuru mara kwa mara. She loved to thank God all the time. Hasemi hapana sitakuwa nashukuru mara pili mara tatu wengine wasimama. I will not thank three times when I have a problem. She would not mind about that. Wakati tu anajisikia kumshukuru Mungu. Whenever she feels like she wants to thank God. Alikuwa na moyo wa furaha. She had a heart of thankfulness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mediatrice 
The light made their trees. Let her leave us, we shall find her in heaven. Amen. Amen. God loves also beautiful people. people. We wanted to stay with her. But the Creator also, as the one who has said, but also God wanted to stay with us. God has more authority and power beyond our our thinking. He has taken mediatrice. I thought. Like I, I don't think people will be happy to spend a year without seeing her to see her back in the uh, congregation. God does not fear. He would have left for us immediately. But we are going to meet her. Hallelujah! Amen. Uh, the next program. Uh, we are going to give her a bye. Mambo ingine itakuwa kwenye kumbi. Then another program will follow after the barrier. Ndiyo gisi yonekana. That's how they have prepared it. Munda murefu wa kusema maisha. That's when we shall talk about her. Chia kitu ni uko kwenye kumbi ni. That's when we shall talk about that. Na watu ambao wa maisha nae. The the other people have stayed with her for long. Ah, wana mambo mengi ya kusema. They have a lot to talk about. Kwa hiyo sasa. For that, we have that time to go and uh, rest her. Now it's also going to take we some have time. Then we have also another time to now the reception. It is also going to be taken time. Now it's also going to take 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 time. Ni kwamba mnajua kama dada yetu ali alifariki kwa sababu ya ajali. You knew that she died in an accident. Na ilikuwa ajali ya kifo. And it, she she had an accident and she died on the spot. Hata ukiona gari na gisi amefanya ajali. Even if you when you look at the pictures of the car, haunge haunge amini ya kwamba tungepata tungepata haka mwili wa kuzika. You wouldn't even believe that we are going to see the flesh to bury today. Lakini Mungu, but God, ameona ni tu iwe vizuri tumsindikize. God wanted us to accompany her. Ninataka kusema ni kwamba what I'm going to say about is how and ndugu ambao wanahusika, those people who are in the responsible, wamejaribu kufanya mambo ili tuweze kumwaga. They have tried their best to make sure that we na, they na, made together the flesh. Na hivyo ambavyo wamefanya, and what they have done wamejaribu kutengeneza mwili waka upaka ile yote ambao unajua kanisa letu hakutaki they have tried to mend the flesh and put all maybe the make up labda utaona make up utaona ile nani ile rangi ya nyekundu when you look at the make up which they have put on her utaona vitu vingi wame upaka there's a lot of things they have smeared to the face kwa kanisa letu sisi hatu in our church doctrines we don't accept that lakini wamefanya hivyo kwa kwa kuweza kuziba hii aa mkaze roho kwa kuweza kuziba ile makofu labda ya ajali they have tried to do that because there was a lot of wounds and to make sure that the flesh was together that's why we are now saying to you guys when you see that, don't go with the blame, but they were trying to mend up the body. They were trying to cover all the injuries. It's not as It's not we are there. They were trying to cover all the wounds on the flesh. Sasa, now, please, please, be strong. Please be strong.
Mulai kau dusta ni mana bilang ni mana? Yang mesti lebih itu. We are going to pray God in order to God to come forth. Father, my father is from Florida. The father is from Florida. Please pray for us. 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 Tukijiandaa vizuri na kuweza kukaa vizuri na kuweza kuamini yale yote ambayo watumishi wako uliowaweka hapa ulimwenguni kuweza kuhubiri walio wako na kuweza kuyashika tutaamini kwamba siku moja taweza kumuona asante za kwa kusaidia programu zote zinazoweka mikononi mwako mahali pote tunataka kuenda utaenda pamoja nasi utatusaidia katika jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu amen tutaenda kuanzia huko nyuma kwa wale ambao wanasimama we shall start from the back mutakuja mnaaga mnatoka kwa mlango huyu you come and see and pass and then give farewell and then now na, sit na, na watu wote then with all people family aliyo itaaga nyuma the family will be the last to be the fail na na watu wengi pia the pastors will also be the last tuna tunaomba tunaomba mjaribu kutanga mwanzo
siku moja na siku moja nitafika Salama, na Mungu atakupokea. Uende 
salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu uende salama na Mungu atakupokea uende salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu uende salama na Mungu atakupokea uende salama sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu uende salama na Mungu atakupokea
Amena. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunafika kwa muda mwingine. Uh, we got another time. 
ili tuweze kufanya kazi hii in order to do this task here hii ni hatua ya kupumzisha mwili wa dada yetu uh, this is the right time to rest the the, the body of our late uh, the late media trees tumemwaga huko kanisani we have already given a farewell to her in the church lakini muda huu ni kupumzisha mwili but this is the right time to rest her body na rendezvous ni kwamba hatutamuona tena mpaka mbinguni the appointment is that we are going to see waliona matumaini tutamuona mbinguni those who have hope we are going to see her in here <laughs> Tusilie tuwe na matumaini ya kumuona mbinguni. Aliye na mawazo ya kumuona tena sura yake duniani hata muona. Lakini ukikaza mwendo utamuona mbinguni. Tuseme haleluya. Ni lazima sasa ni wajibu wetu tukaze mwendo to prepare our way ili siku moja in order one day tukapate kuonana tena naye meet her again huko ngambo ya bahari there across the river amina amen mbele ya kufanya kazi hii before we continue tunakwenda kumuomba Mungu we are going to pray God tutamuomba ndugu yetu mchungaji Tibasima we shall request pastor Tibasima atamuomba Mungu is going to pray God. Kisha kumuomba Mungu. After praying to God. Tutampa nafasi. We are going to give uh, um, an opportunity. Mchungaji kufanya kazi hii. Uh, to Bishop Pastor to complete the task. Karibu ndugu. Tufunge macho. Tuulize Bwana. Kweli baba katika jina lako. Tunakuinua tunakusi. Asante kwa kazi kubwa yenye umemfanya kwa kumuzisa dada mpendwa mpendwa na watu wengi mpendwa na watu Mungu kwa siku za leo kazi yake mitimu upendo wake itazidi kuendelea lakini hatutamuona tena tunamuweka mkononi mwako wepeke bwana unaweza kumzunguka Unaweza kumuweka kwa mahali yenye inaweza kupata uhai katika maisha ya kiroho. Tunaacha yote mkononi mwako baba. Hakuna mwingine ila we. Katika utumaini na katika neema yake anayofanya yote hapa katika ulimwengu. Leo imetimu imeisha. Sasa ana kazi karibu yako. Sasa ana kazi yenye unaweza kumpatia. Inaacha kwa sisi devoir. Kitu kubwa kwa sisi tujitayarishe, tujitahidi. Tufikiri siku moja tunaweza onana naye pale. Tuache mawazo ya huku na kule. Kwani katika neno lako nasema tusifikiri kwa wale wameipumzika. Kwani wamelala wamepumzika? Na sisi siku moja wakati tutapumzika tutapata neema ya kuweza kuonana pamoja nao. Tunaweka mambo yote mkononi mwako. Wakati tulisikia yale habari, tulihuzuni kama refu, tunafadhaika, tunawaza huku na kule, lakini hatuna namuna ya kurudisha uzima wa dada wetu. Mungu tunaweka yote mkononi mwako. Sasa ni wakati wa kumuweka kwa nyumba zake. Mungu wepeke enda pamoja naye kwa amani. Pumzika pamoja naye, umuwezese na pale yote yenyewe utamuweka baba. Kuomba na hitaji ni letu lakini jibu ni yako. Tuna utumaini, tuna hakika kuyo ya kwamba tunaweza kumuona. Tunaacha hivi kupitia jina nzuri wa mwana wako njia Yesu Kristo. Amen. Asante. Thank you. Tuna kuwa na muda mwingine sasa. It's another time. Acha tumpe nafasi mchungaji. Let's give an opportunity to pastor. Oh. Yeah, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Na Tuna neno ambalo tunatamani kulizungumzia tu kwa mafupi. Uh, there is a word of God we are going to talk about. Neno ambalo tunalikutana katika kitabu cha Warumi. Uh, it's a word found in the uh, book of Romans. Uh, sura yake ya 14. Chapter 14. 
na mstari wake wa saba hadi tisa a verse 6 to 9 no na mungu linasema hivi the word of god says kwa sababu hakuna mtu miongoni mwetu aishie kwa nafsi yake wala hakuna afae kwa nafsi yake kwa maana kama tukiishi tuwaishi kwa Bwana au kama tukifa tuwafua kwa Bwana basi kama tukiishi au kama tukifa tu ya Bwana maana Kristo alikufa akawa hai tena kwa sababu hii awamiliki waliokufa na walio hai pia Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tumesikia maneno mazuri sana. We have heard the word of God. Ah, kufa kwa mwanadamu si sababu ya kutaka kwake. The death of a human being is not because he likes it. Na kufufuka kwa mwanadamu si sababu ya kutaka kwake. And so that resurrection is not his interest. Neno la Mungu linatuambia kwamba Mungu ndiye anatuma mwanadamu kufa na ndiye anatuma mwanadamu kufufuka. The, God, the word of God tells us that Lord is the one who has interest in a person of dying. Na hapa tumesikia hayo hayo. And that's what we have heard in, in the Bible. Kwamba, kama tukiishi, he says if we live it, or if we kama tukifa, to live, or if we die, sisi ni mali ya we are the wealth of God. Na mahali mali ya mtu ipo, and where your wealth belongs, ni pale moyo wako upo. that's where your heart belongs. Moyo bwana uko kwa ajili yake. The heart of God is with her. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Mahali mali yako ipo ni pale mawazo yako yapo. Where your wealth belongs that's where your thoughts belong. Na sisi ni mali ya Bwana. We are also the wealth of God. Kwa hiyo ikiwa uh, dada yetu ametutangulia ni sababu Mungu alitaka. It's because God wanted to Na siku ya kihama and if time comes siku ya kufufuka time of ni Bwana atamfufua. God is going to resurrect. Hii ni mali yake. This is the wealth of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii ni mali ya Bwana. Sisi tutamshusha na kumweka ndani ya kaburi na huko roho ya Bwana bado iko pamoja naye. Na la Mungu linasema hivi. Siku ya mwisho the, la, in the last day musiku ya kufufuka during the time of mungu ataambia bahari god is going to command the, the sea nipatie watu wangu ulio wa meza the people you have uh, drawn na vile vile ataambia hapa and the same way is going to come hao wote ambao mnaona wanalala hapa all those people you are seeing resting ikiwa wako ndani ya yesu mungu atawaambia njoni kwangu sasa god is going to command and then all of them will resume na wao watatoka Niwaambie ipo siku moja. Niliona wanadamu na gani watu wanashangilia Mungu hewani. Namna watu wanashangilia Yesu hewani. Jinsi tunavyoona hii hewa na njogi si watu walikuwa na manguo meupe tu. Kwa hii sisi ni mali ya Bwana. Huyu dada ni mali ya Bwana. Tumweka hapo hapa. Anachungwa na Bwana. Anachungwa na Bwana. Na hakuna mwanadamu anaweza kufanya nayo utaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jisikie kuwa mali ya Bwana. Ujisikie kuwa mali ya Bwana. Feel as if you are a wealth of God. Maana ndiye ataendelea kukulinda namna gani zozote zile kwa njia namna yote ile. Because he will continue to protect you in all ways. Bwana atuwe katika neno hilo. God bless you all. Tunaamini ya kwamba ufufuo upo. We believe you believe that. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi ni mali ya Bwana. We are the wealth of God. Nilikuwa na nilikuwa na mchungaji ambaye amenibariki. Uh, I have my pastor who anointed me. Tulikuwa pamoja na huyu. I was his pastor. Njo wakati anaenda uh, Lubumbasha na fika kule kwa Kongo na anapokea baraka na nini anasema anakuja na chorus anasema mimi ni chombo cha Bwana. Ndani yangu muna mali. So there is a Sitina imba wimbo hiyo. Mimi ni chombo cha Bwana. Ndani yangu muna mali. Mimi ni chombo. 
The word of God has told us that we belong to the Lord. Let, let, let her rest in peace. If we have that faith, we are going to meet God. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Sasa tutakwenda uh, kushusha mwili wa marehemu ndani. We are going to descend the cup of the light made uh, in the tomb. We shall request you to lower down the body when we are all singing. We shall request you to lower down the body when we are all singing.
So today is to endeavor to Kimba. Masikiri labda kuna kitu ingi namba mechitokeza.
kisha kwa kutuambia kwamba sisi ni mali ya Bwana uh, na udongo nao ni mali ya Bwana na kila kitu chote kimefanyia katika kusudi la Mungu na tunatamani tufanye mambo kama namna haya nikimaliza kuweka udongo katika uh, hali ya utatu wa Mungu na tutaomba uh, wa, 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 wa familia mnakwenda hapo mnaleta mnaweka kama atakuwa na mkono naweka we shall request the family of this deceased to get a glass of soil as a symbol of burning and then you na, na baadaye sababu hatuna mashevo hatuna vipawa because we don't have the space tutamruhusu mara moja anadamp kwa shimo and then we shall allow him to just dump the soil at na baadaye baada ya kudamp tutaambia wale wa maua wanaweka maua Then after dumping the soil and then we shall request those people with flowers to come and put the flowers. Na baadaye tunakuwa na matangazo. And then afterward we shall have some announcement. Na kisha tunaomba Mungu tunarudi. And then we are going to pray and then we go back. Kama tumekisha kuzungumzia, as we have said, ardhi ni ya Mungu. It's God's purpose. Udongo ni wa Mungu. The soil belongs to God. Na mwanadamu ametoka katika mavumbi. Even a person was created from the soil. Na ninaona Mungu ametuambia kwamba sisi ni mali ya Bwana. And then the word of God has told us we belongs to God. Kwa hiyo mali ya Bwana ambayo ni udongo ambao aliumba uh, uh, dada huyu marehemu ambaye amejitangulia. So the wealth of God is the one which created let me their trees. Ah uh, ni kusema kwamba tunarudisha udongo kwa udongo meaning that we are returning back the soil to the soil <laughs> na tunarudisha mavumbi kwa mavumbi and then we are taking back the soil to the soil na tuna imani kwamba tutaonaona mbinguni and then we have that hope that we are going to meet her bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord tuombe uh, familia wale wanasikia nguvu wasimame wachukue wangu wake na baadaye wachungaji wanaanza kupita kidogo kidogo na wengine sababu mida inakwenda haraka haraka atakuwa tutamruhusu adampe tunakubaliana hayo yes. au mnatamani kila mtu achukue chukue zizi zote hapa uh, tufanye tu wale kidogo tu alafu tunamwambia ndio ana, anaweka kwa udongo karibu sana na makorasi mnaweza kuendelea family of the deceased Okay, 
Mimi bado siamini na sijui kwa nini nina uzuni moyoni juu yako Media twist ulikuwa special siamini utoyone kesho yani macho umefumba fumba Ulipendwa na wengi wengi ukasaidia wengi wengi yatima na wase wajane wana Uwende salama, sisi tunakuombea kwa mungu Uwende salama, na mungu wata kupokea Uwende salama, sisi tunakuombea kwa mungu Uwende salama, na mungu wata kupokea Tunajua ya mambo haya na ujanja Tangulia na si We are in the last step of this task. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa kuwa amekuwa nasi. We thank God for being with us. Amefariji mioyo yetu. He has comforted our hearts. Kupitia neno lake. Through his word. Na mazungumzo yote ambayo imetendeka hapa. And through all the communication which has happened here. Kwa muda huu sasa. At this juncture. Acha tushukuru Mungu ambaye amemuongoza kiongozi wetu. Pastor Levis. Let's thank God who has protected Levis when he has come. Kwa safari ndefu na matatizo lakini amewasili. I know it's a long journey with a lot of trouble. Mitirigo ya shetani haikuweza kumuzuru asifike. There is no traps from devil which is stopped him from. Na ndiye anakwenda kutuombea. And he's going to pray for us. Kukamilisha hatua hii. And then to Mana uri mwinjuru. Turagushimiye kuko twabaye hano kuva amasayo sarenganye abantu bawe kugurukundo wabashizemwo abantu bawe kandi kubukwizera baherekeje mwene data asoje urugendo gwiwe gwo muri uyu mubiri muri yisi bamuherekeje mu cubayiro kidasanzwe kandi bamuherekeje bafite umunezero baririmba kuko bamenya neza gutahura neza ko igihe kimwe tuzokongera guhura mu gihugu cyo mu ijuru abatarakumenya abatakunzi bo nuko nta byizigira bafise ariko twabigituma turirimba igituma dufisa na mashimwe nuko igihe kimwe tuzokongera guhura nabo twatandukanya muri uyu mubiri ariko bizeye natwe twizeye Imanda yuita kani ya vuga chamba ya wera vuga ngo abapu ya na wazata angura kusuka ifanyi vizi kila bikomea chani 
ngo bapfu yanyoza tangu ya kuzuka hanyuma bakiriho ndiwo duce duhurira mu kirere ibyo ni byo byizigiro byacu jambo ryawe ritabesha none mana ya mwishuru ibi vyabaye vyigishije buri muntu wese kwa dukwiye gutegura urugendo rwacu kwa dukwiye gutegura imitima yacu kugira ngo tuze dusonze urugendo amahoro kuko muri yisi turi ngenzi kuko muri yisi twaca turengana kandi vyisi ni byakanya gato harahire ngo kwice mu rya wari bivuga ngo abapfa bafira mu mwami turagushimiye rero kuko washitse kwinzara mu bantu bawe kandi uzokomeza abantu bawe ubongera zo kwizera nkuko icamo rya waravuga ngo mu bibi na mu vyiza dushima imana turashima yuko wabanye ko bimeruko nubwo ko mu biri tubabaye nubwo ko mu biri dusigaranya marira menshi na gahinda ariko dushira mu kwizera kwacu ni gutakare kugira ngo igiye kimwe tuzokongere guhura mu bwami bwo mwijuru ahataro pfu atami babaro izaba yona gatoya turagushima kubwivyo rero ibisigaye abantu bose bitanze mu bikogwa nkibi ubaho umugisha ubagirire neza abantu bavuye hige no hino bakoresha uryo butandukanye ubaho umugisha kubwivyo byose mu bwitange budasanzwe nanda rero nuko turagiye ariko ah muri aya mayira hose ujane no mumwe wese mana yo mwijuru imiryango twese dufotikanije muri aya marira muri aka gahinda ubandanye kuduhoza ubandanye kuturemesha ubandanye kuduhumuriza urakose mana turagushimiye kuryo byose byumvise nuko tubivuze kandi yatwiza yo kubyishuye mu isina rya Yesu Kristo amen
sisi tunakuombea kwa Mungu uende salama na Mungu atakupokea